common question I get from clients is how do I allow or restrict permissions with my employees? Setting up users and passwords prohibits unauthorized access to the company file and limits activities within the file. Until you set up users and passwords, every person who opens the company file has access to all the information in your file. Let's view our current users and roles within QuickBooks Enterprise. Select Company, Users, and then Set Up Users and Passwords. Under the User List tab, QuickBooks designates the first user as the admin or QuickBooks administrator. This user has unlimited access to the company file and other rights no other users have. Because the administrator has unlimited access to the file, the administrator is typically the owner, accountant, or controller for the company. Here you see the admin is logged on in the file. You can also set up a user designated as external accountant. This level of access is similar to the administrator, except they cannot view customer credit card information, set up users, or edit access for other users. Each user profile includes a unique login name and password. The admin user sets each user's password initially, but users can change their passwords later. Passwords can contain up to 16 alphanumeric characters and are case sensitive. Usernames are not case sensitive. You can leave the password blank if your user has a specific password they want to use. If you leave the password field blank, you will get a warning message to verify you want to save the user without a password. If the admin password is lost, you can contact Intuit for password removal service options. There are also programs you can purchase to help recover lost passwords. The admin can change or remove all other passwords. When setting up users, the admin designates which area a user can access in QuickBooks. For each user, the admin can grant access to all areas or selected areas. Watch our next video to learn how to set up users in QuickBooks Desktop Pro and Premiere. This way you can also compare the differences to QuickBooks Enterprise. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. You'll be alerted when I create another video like this one. And again, as always, thank you for watching my video.